hey you guys i am coming back with another video i know it's been a while since i've uploaded a dream video but um i just haven't been receiving anything um it, to the point of where i felt like it was necessary to share um but i did receive a very important dream on uh july the 7th and i felt it to be very significant that the lord gave me this dream on 777 of Hebrew calendar year 5777. I hope you guys caught that. So um, I look at it as being 777 because, you know, July 7th of 2017. And technically, according to the Hebrew calendar, we are in year 5777. So we know that the number seven is... A very uh, important number and it usually represents perfection it represents complete completion um, so I really believe that the Lord was given a very important word through this dream that he gave me so again um, I had this dream on July 7th and the dream started out where it was like I was kind of in a nursing home setting a hospital slash nursing home setting and something had happened to where um all of the power was was turned off um we at this point in the dream we didn't really know what was going on outside all we knew was we was just trying to make sure that you know we were doing what we needed to do to you know um take care of what needed to be taken care of um you know as far as being in the nursing home setting and so I recall um, working with another lady that was also there. And it was like we were just um, trying to gather supplies and making sure we had what was needed because um, something, like I said, had happened to where um, everything had just turned off. Like there was no electricity. Um, there was no running water. Like everything was completely uh, off or shut down and so by this time I recall hearing a loud noise it was almost like it was a um, a loud cry from a child and I hurry up and ran out the window and when I looked out the window I noticed there was this massive body of water almost like an ocean but it wasn't as big as an ocean and as I was looking at this massive body of water, I saw um, these two different types of beasts. Now, the best way to describe what I saw is if you look at um, a situation where there were one race of people and, um, you know, there was one race of people versus another race of people and they were all, you know, like you may have all blacks on one side and all whites on one side. Um, that's kind of how it was. But in the dream, it was uh, two different types of uh, beasts, two different types of sea creatures. And you had one type of sea creature on one side. And on the other side, you had another type of sea creature. And they were at war with each other. Like they were, um, they were really violent you know towards one another and there was so much rage and as I was watching this I remember looking up in the heavens and I could see that there were all kinds of uh military planes flying through the sky I could see bombs going off I could see these huge explosions taking place in different parts of this scene and it was it was like a war zone um everything that could be chaotic was chaotic in this situation and then um it was um as i was watching this scene take place there were the there were two different buildings the the building that i was in um that was one building but then there was another building that was um, on the opposite side of the ocean. So you had the building where I was in, you had this body of water, um, like an ocean that was dead smack in the middle. 
And then on the other side of the ocean, you had another building. And so throughout the dream, I could see that there were people leaving the building that I were in, trying to make it to the other side to go to the other building. And they were being transported by buses. And I remember it was made known to me in this dream that the a lot of the people who were trying to escape to get across to the other side, they were dying. They, um, they were literally taking a risk. They were uh, risking their lives to try to travel to the other side to make it into this other place that they thought was safe. And in my spirit, I it was almost like there was a sadness that I felt in my heart because I knew that these people were going to the wrong place. And it was made known to me in this dream that a, a lot of the people were leaving because um, they saw other people going there. And so they thought, well, if, if all these people are going over there, then that must be where we need to be. And they were also going over there because, like I said, they thought that that was the safest place to be. And so my heart was really saddened by that because I knew that they were making a, a, a wrong choice. They were making a bad decision. And so the dream progressed to where it allowed me... Oh, let me back up a little bit. Um, there, The place that I was in, like there was protection. Um, I don't know what you would call these group of people, but they, they weren't human. They were not, you know, human. Um, but it was made known to me that these people were protecting us. And it allowed me to see these people um, using some type of powers to um, keep the doors shut to where we were. Because there were people that look like human beings but they were actually demons and i was able to discern who these people were um spiritually it was made known to me in the dream but it allowed me to see how they were sealing the doors shut and so nothing could come through that was not allowed to come through and so as the dream progressed it allowed me to go to the other side where a lot of people were escaping thinking that that was the place they needed to be and what was so interesting was this other place had uh people that looked like human beings but like i said spiritually i was able to see that they really wasn't human beings that that they were demons and um they were deceiving people into thinking that they were safe. And so um, I remember um, before I woke up out of this dream, um, I was able to see these doors uh, starting to creep open. It was like I couldn't see anybody opening the door, but I knew that it was, it was somebody, it was, it was a spirit opening the door. And it showed me trying to hurry up and run to shut the door. But as soon as I would run to shut the door, another door would pop open. And so it, I wasn't able to um, keep, I wasn't able to help these people. Even though I was trying my hardest to, um, it, it did not allow me to help them because it was only allowing me to see what was actually taking place at this other building that they thought was a place of safety. And so that was pretty much what I dreamt. And I woke up and I was like, okay, I don't fully understand what this dream means, but I really believe that this was um, a very important dream. And so as I continue meditating on this dream, I believe this is what the Lord is saying. Now, in the book of Daniel, it talks about how there will be four beasts that will rise out of the sea. And these beasts will represent kingdoms. Now, you guys, for the past two weeks, I honestly, I have not been watching the news at all. But I believe that what's taking place is um, when you look at the, the, the two sea creatures or the two beasts, that were at war with each other i believe that represents two kingdoms that are at war with each other and i believe that the outcome is going to create um war 
Um, because it first showed these two beasts in my dream going at it, going at it with each other. And it was so violent. It was so chaotic. And then it allowed me to, when I, after I saw that scene, I looked up into the heavens and that's when I saw the, the military planes, the, the bombings and the explosions going off. And like I said, it looked like a war zone. So I believe the Lord is showing me that again, these two beasts that I saw, um, in my dream represents two kingdoms that are at war with each other. And the outcome is going to be a war that's going to break out. Now, the two places, I believe what the Lord was showing me that the place that I was in, it was a place of safety. It was a place where we were protected because he also had certain people positioned in that place that was keeping the door shut. There's a scripture in Revelations where it says that he will shut uh, doors that no man can um, open and he will open doors that no man can shut. And so I believe that he was showing me that as a way to say that as long as you're in this place, I'm going to make sure that I am protecting you and that I'm not going to let the enemy come in because you are in a safe place. Now, the disturbing part of the dream was when there were people in the safe place, but they were deceived and thinking that that wasn't the place they needed to be, that they thought that the other place was a place of safety. And I believe the Lord is showing me, um, or what the Lord was showing me in this dream about that is, you know, there are a lot of people who, um, who don't fully understand, um, the importance of staying grounded in um there in in the lord you know um and then you also have people who don't fully discern the times that we're living in and so they were once in a place of safety but now it's like they're kind of stepping out kind of looking out to see you know is it safe to to go out is it safe to you know continue on with life and continue to um pursue you know certain things that they wanted to do almost like they're becoming um they're becoming more relaxed they're becoming um numb to the reality that you know we really need to be staying watchful you know um i've been saying a lot that i feel like what's taking place is there is a false sense of peace and i think that a lot of people have become so um deceived um, in thinking that everything is fine, you know, we still have more time and, you know, I'm not saying that, um, you know, all of this is going to happen at a certain point because I don't know. I just believe that it's very dangerous for us to think that we can just, you know, um, stop watching that we need to stop being alert to um where we are right now and what's going on around us because this is not a time to go back and and become you know comfortable you know we have to stay on our p's and q's as they say and make sure that we're not becoming um desensitized to um the rhetoric that we're hearing in the news um and i believe that the lord was was also wanting me to say this that um, we need to make sure that, um, not only, okay, let me, let me put it this way. We need to make sure that we truly have a, a foundation in Christ because these people were deceived in thinking that they were going to a safe place. And so we also have to be very sure that, you know, we're not stepping out of the will of God because he has us, you know, he has us safe in his, in his, um, I'm sorry. I, I have so much running through my mind. I'm trying to relay it. The Lord has us in a very safe place and 
we have to trust that. You know, it's just like when I shared the word about going into your secret place and the importance of, of going into your secret place. Your secret place is your relationship with the Lord. Your secret place is, you know, that relationship that you have with him, that trust, that faith that you have in him, knowing that regardless of what's going on around you, he got you, you know, regardless of what you're, you're experiencing, you know, whatever hardships you're going through, whatever trials, whatever tribulations, whatever persecutions you're experiencing, even what you're hearing on the news, you know, we have to hold on to his word and to his promises. And if he said that he will protect us, then you have to believe that. You know, when he say that my sheep know my voice, then you have to trust that he's not going to let you be deceived. But the thing is, these people, they were in the right place, but they allow what they saw. They allow other people to encourage them into believing that, no, this place over here is safer. You have to trust the, the voice of God for yourself. You have to know what God is speaking to you because if you don't know his voice and if you don't know what God is speaking to you directly then you're going to easily be persuaded into believing that you're not in the place that you're supposed to be and you're going to be deceived into going elsewhere and the danger in going elsewhere is if you move out of God's will you will not be protected and so, again, I will stress the fact, I don't know when all of this is going to take place, but there was such a, an importance that I felt with sharing this dream. You know, it was like the Lord would not let off of me on putting this dream out there. And I feel that it is so significant um, with everything that we're seeing. I actually started watching um, some news um, the next day after I had the dream because I was trying to get some type of understanding as to you know what was what the Lord was wanting to to relay to me, but I believe that there is so much tension um, that you know we look at how North Korea has um, has uh, done um, done another missile and it was a, a success. Um, North Korea is constantly provoking America. Um, we know that North Korea hates America. We know how Iran feels about America. You know, we see the dialogue, the dialogue that's going on between America and Russia, between America and China, you know. And so there's just so much that's taking place. And, you know, I just want you guys to just you know, don't, don't fall asleep on the warnings. Don't become desensitized to the warnings to where you no longer feel, you know, the nudges of the Holy Spirit, you know, waking you up and letting you know, look, this is not a time to, you know, fall asleep. This is not a time to, um, not, you know, uh, this is not a time to stop watching. This is not a time to, you know, just, become relaxed you know we have to continue to be wise as serpents we have to continue to be discerning we have to continue to build our relationship with the lord because yes his sheep knows his voice but if you're not training yourself to hear his voice then how will you know when he's when he's directing you how will you know when he's leading you you know and so discernment played a huge part in this dream that the Lord gave me. And, you know, like I said, my heart went out to those people because I knew they were risking their lives to go to a place that wasn't even safe. They were risking their lives to, um, you know, to step out of the will of God, but they didn't have no discernment. They didn't know that that's what they was doing. They had no understanding that they were already in a safe place. And so, you know, the Lord is, is wanting us to make sure that we are staying alert, that we are staying watchful, that we are staying discerning because, you know, the thing is with that dream, they, they risked their lives to go to the other place that wasn't safe. And so 
ultimately that translates into people risking their soul because they're not relying on the Holy Spirit. They're not relying on the relationship that they could ultimately have to, to keep them grounded and to make sure that, you know, they're in a place where they will know for themselves if this is of God, if this is where God wants me, if this is the direction that God wants me to go. And so don't risk your soul in following after others. Make sure that you're hearing God for yourself. Don't follow after somebody else's um, words that they believe the Lord is saying. You go to the Father and you ask the Father, just like I encourage you to go to the Father when it comes to this dream that I'm sharing with you all. You know, always take what you hear to the Lord so he can give you the confirmation for yourself. Because if you truly want to know for yourself, God will tell you and he will let you know. And he will tell you in a way that you will know for yourself that that is what the Lord is saying. And so, again, I just wanted to share this, this important dream with you all. I do believe that the Lord is, is wanting us to continue to be vigilant because we're living in very serious times. We cannot get caught up in our day-to-day -day lives and become numb to the warnings. You know, Jesus is coming and we're seeing so many things taking place and we have to pay attention to the fact that kingdoms are uh, against kingdoms and it's becoming even more intense. And so, you know, that war zone that was taking place, I, I believe we're close. There's too many people that's having dreams and visions about a war breaking out. And this is not just any type of war. This is going to be a major war. And so I just want you all to just stay prayed up. Um, pray without ceasing. That's what the word of God tells us. And and just always um, just go to the Lord for the things uh, with the things that you don't understand because he will give you understanding. But um, I know for myself that the Lord wanted me to share this with you all. And I just pray that you all seek him and just ask him to give you wisdom, give you discernment. And just if you're having a hard time believing, ask the Lord to help you in that area. If you're having a hard time, you know, trusting God in certain things, ask him to help you because he knows where we're weak and where we're weak. He will he will give us the strength that we need. So I love you all. If I receive anything else. I promise I will let you all know. God bless you all. I love you.